welcome to the 2014 League of Legends World Championship. The action has shifted to Singapore for the second half of the group stages. Eight of the top teams from around the world prepare to fight for a seat in the quarterfinals and a shot at the Summoner's Cup. We're currently looking at shots from the Singapore Expo as we jump to the LMQ team room as they get ready for the first match of the day. Their opponents in that one will be OMG. It's going to be a very big clash to kick off Group C. Welcome again to our World's Analyst Desk. My name is Trevor Quickshot Henry, and joining me on the desk for our first three matches today is our Players Club. Starting things off with Mitch Crepo, Force Bulls from Evil Geniuses. Next up is Neil Prali Hamad of Complexity. Third in line, Counter Logic Gaming's Peter Double of Peng. And of course, rounding out the table is Alberto Crumbs Renhifo from Team Dignitas. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're proud to tell you that every single match of the 2014 World Championship will be broadcast around the world in 16 different languages with help from 24 broadcast partners who are all working extremely hard to bring the excitement directly to you wherever you are in the globe. We will, of course, be looking at some of the broadcast partners, including the LPL team, who are providing coverage for our Chinese audience. Here's a look at the partners from On Game Net in their dapper suits and vests, of course. And I think uh, the team is looking ready. Here is Shock. So at the interview table, we'll be sending her to chat to some of the players later in the day. And, of course, our fantastic trio of shoutcasters, D-Man, Deficio, and Kobe in the middle, getting ready to cast the first three games. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Right, now, we're about to get ready for the opening ceremonies. Before we do, Singapore, it's a new venue, new eight teams. Uh, what's the, What are we sort of looking forward to from these squads and this portion of the group stage, Crepo? Well, I just hope the crowd is as hype as it was in Taiwan, because it's been really good so far. We're visiting three different countries, and... So far, the crowd has been amazing. I know the Korean crowd is going to be amazing, so I'm just hoping, like, the bridge in between Singapore, I hope they're going to be amazing, too. Going to be some pressure on their shoulders. Yeah. The crowd yelling and screaming. I know it gets the players pumped up. You guys have had the experience of playing at some of the venues, you know, stateside. What does that do to your mentality and mindset, Crumbs, maybe? I mean, just when you hear the crowd chant, for instance, you go for a back door, and then they're like, go, 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 go. It can get you a little bit overhyped, though, that's for well, sure. Well, I do believe we are ready for the opening ceremony. So let's actually send it to the stage and check that out from the Singapore Expo. This week, eight teams have come from every corner of the globe to represent their regions as they fight to continue their quest for the Summoner's Cup. Please help me in welcoming the teams that will be competing in the Singapore group stage of the 2014 League of Legends World Championship. Representing the North American League Championship Series and making their debut at the World Championships. LMQ. Ackerman. No Name. Xiao Wei Zhao. Vasily. More. From China's League of Legends Pro League, a 2013 quarterfinalist making their second appearance at the World Championships. OMG. Go Going, Love Link, Cool, Sand, Dada777, representing the European League Championship Series, the Season 1 World Champions, Fnatic, Soaz, Sinai, Xpeke, Reckless, Yellow Star, from Korea's The Champions League, with the number one seed, Samsung Blue, Acorn, Spirit, Dade, Deft, Heart. In Group D, from the International Wild Card, the first Brazilian team to qualify for the World Championship, Kaboom Esports. Lep. Danagorn. Tinones. Minerva. Dans. From Korea's The Champions, making their debut appearance at the World Championship. Najin White Shield. Save. Watch. Goom. Zephyr. Gorilla. 
from the North American LCS, making their second consecutive appearance at the World Championships. Cloud Nine. Balls. Medios. High. Sneaky. Lemon Nation. The summer champions and number one seed from the European LCS, making their World Championship debut. Alliance. Wicked. Shook. Froggen. Tabs. Nif. Ladies and gentlemen, your Singapore Group Stage Challengers. Singapore group stage. I wonder how nerve-wracking it must be for those guys getting ready, knowing how important the games are coming up. We're actually going to take a look at the schedule to see how we kick off this first day of action in Singapore. And as we said earlier, it is going to be LMQ going up against their former teammates, OMG. We will see those teams a little bit later in the day uh, when OMG will be taking on Korea's Samsung Blue. We've also got the very first match between Cloud9 and Alliance, which I'm very much looking forward to, to see how those teams perform. We will also see Korea's Najin White Shield, who are the Season 1 World, uh, going up against the Season 1 World Champions Fnatic and newcomer Kaboom Esports from Brazil. They will all get their hands dirty at some point today on the Rift. Right, so those are teams fighting for four quarterfinal spots. I want to kick things off by asking you guys what we're looking forward to in this group stage, similar to what we did for uh, the Taipei stage, but I want to start with Prolly. What are you looking at from these eight teams in this stage? Uh, might be kind of a surprise, but the mid laners in these two groups are probably the most impressive mid laners. And I think the three that are going to stand out the most are going to be Goong, Dade, and Froggen. Aside of those three, those are going to be the mid laners that change the game. It's not going to be like, oh, how's the bot lane doing? It's going to be the mid lane will make the game or break the game. So I'm really excited about that. And Crumbs, what are you looking forward to in this stage? For me, it has to be we get to see Cloud9 and Alliance, two top dogs in the region, face off against what is known as a third weakest team in the Korean team in this tournament. So we get to see how these two teams perform and, and really stack up. And it gives you a little bit of a, an understanding as to how NA and EU could be doing against Korea. Yeah, let alone against Koreans. I just want to see how they play against each other. I want to see how much has Cloud9 learned, how far has Alliance progressed, because it's been a, such a long time since we've seen them play. How is Balls and Wicked going to fight against each other? Is Has the Nidalee pick ban for Alliance been solved, or is that just going to be just a hole in their strategy? I mean, so much things to look forward to. It's very exciting. Cloud9 and Alliance play later today, and then they both play Naj and Shield tomorrow. Yep. Finally, Doublet, what are you looking forward to? Mm, definitely Samsung Blue. That, they're in the group of death, right? So, I mean, you'd kind of think maybe there's a chance for an upset, but they are the number one seed in from Korea. So, consider probably the strongest team from Korea. Um, Samsung White was really unchallenged in their group. EDG kind of put on a lackluster performance. So, I want to see if, I guess, somebody can find like a, a nick in their armor. You know, if somebody can put up a fight against Samsung Blue. Well, we'll have to see if anybody can. We talked a lot about the regional power. We've actually taken a look at some of the win-loss ratios from Taipei, considering it is an international competition. Talk to me a little bit about these stats, guys. Champions, of course, 6 and 0. Those are, of course, the Korean team. Samsung White, we see two more of them. LPL sitting at the top of the table, 9 and 4. NA LCS, 4 and 2 above EU. But just to defend EU, that's the third best team that had to play with a sub. Crumbs, what's your take? I think the sample size is too small. We only saw one half of the group stage already, and we can't be making all these assumptions already. I'll make one assumption. Korea is the best yeah, team. Yeah, I was about to I, say. I agree with you on that one. But I think it's unfair to give Kaboom already. Like, the, if you give Korea the assumption of 6-0, unfair for the other wildcard team to be zero. Hey, Boom's going to win a game, Crumbs? 
Yes. Oh, you, no, no. it's fair to give them that a little bit. So we've talked. Six. We've talked top and bottom. What about middle of the table? NALCS above EU LCS, but we're going to see the rest of the teams. That's so ridiculous to say because TSM is the first seed from North America, and they were in a group with SK, who wasn't even playing with their second roster, and they're the third seed from Europe. So it's like really hard to say. Oh yeah, NA is better than EU. It's it's actually to me 50-50. But uh, incredibly hard for me to say, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you you. NA above <laughs> EU, seen it before. <laughs> so probably middle of the table as we get this next group stage. Do you think those numbers are going to shake up and change? I do think EU will catch up a bit, but I'm still with American Pie, and NA will not succumb to the EU madness. Yeah, I sincerely, I sincerely hope so. Uh, for you guys at home, uh, we're going to be taking a look at this. I'd love for you to jump on Twitter and share your thoughts as well. And for more information about the likes of the teams, the players competing at Worlds, as well as some of the features and videos, head over to lolesports.com. You can also find a complete schedule where you can give a thumbs up to the teams that you think will win in each of the matchups. So submit your votes and we'll check in throughout the day. While you're on the schedule, take note that the games will start earlier on both Saturday and Sunday, three hours earlier than usual. So make sure you guys don't miss anything at all. Uh, and as we're talking about with that social media, we also want you guys to hit us up at LOL Esports. Send us some photos of how do you world Send us pictures of how you game face, or in other words, just see how you're enjoying the World Championship in the Singapore stage. Use that hashtag Worlds, once again, at LOL Esports, to share experience throughout the entire show. Uh, now